Hey, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief, here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Okay, NVIDIA fans, it's time for you guys to rejoice as now NVIDIA has another release for the mid-card domination market. So, today we're taking a look at the new GTX 560 Ti. To sum it up real quick for folks, this is basically a replacement for the old GTX 460. It has approximately 200 megahertz more power and only has an additional 10 watts of power consumption. But we'll show you all the fine facts of the card, what it looks like, how fast it is, and at the end of the day, whether it's worth your money as the end user. Let's check this thing out. So here we take a look at the reference design, new GTX 560 Ti from our friends at NVIDIA. It sizes in at nine inches. Not quite the lady pleasers of 10 inch cards that we've seen, but still above average. Now, there's four 64-bit controllers totaling a 256 memory interface. It also has one gigabyte of DDR5 memory. It comes with an 823 megahertz core clock and a 1646 megahertz shader clock, along with a 4000 megahertz effective memory clock. The card has 384 CUDA cores and 64 texture units. Now, it also has two six-pin power connectors, which you can see right here. I'll flip the card around here in the back of the card. Here are the two six pin power connectors. Now, the card also features four phase power circuitry, which is a better power regulation, which means that the card actually will last longer by better power. You see this on many of the motherboards you get when they talk about all their power phase stuff. Now, NVIDIA is also doing this. Take a look at the rear I.O. We can see it has two standard DVI connectors and a mini HDMI port. Now, here on the back, we have the SLI finger. This is for hooking up to other cards, so you can do triple or dual SLI. The card's not too thick, but it does take a dual slot. Takes a 170 watts of total power to keep it running. Show you from this angle. Now just take a remember folks, this is the reference design card from NVIDIA at launch day. So now we've taken a look at the reference design NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti. Let's move on and let's see how fast it is and how it compares to the competition in this price range. So at the end of the day, what do we have with the new reference NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti card? Well, the card's going to sell for about $249 to $259, maybe less if you can find it on sale. It takes 170 watts of total power consumption, and it's running at about 75 Celsius under full load. Now, mind you, if you're living out in the middle of the desert somewhere and your house is really hot, that's going to change as well if you live in a colder area. That's just in our standard room temperature in our house, and we keep the temperature in our house about 74 to 75 degrees on average. So you can see it scores about the exact same performance as a 6950, but at a lower price point. So for people who are fans of the NVIDIA series of cards, as long as you don't interested have no interest in a display port, then this is a very good card. For $249 to $259, it competes very well with the AMD 6950 series, once again at a lower price point. So at the end of the day, I'd have to say for the fans of the NVIDIA and fans of gamers, this is a very hot product here on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.